these are the zone tools. A city that is zoned well works well. Not only does zoning give your sims room to grow, your zoning decisions dictate how they grow. So, put on your city planner hat and see how your strategies pan out. When you zone an area, you designate what kind of development can occur. Your sims develop the appropriate buildings according to how you have zoned the land. Zone an area for residential structures and only sim dwellings will be built there. Zone an area medium or high density industrial and watch the smelters move in. Density represents how many people you can pack into a building. By zoning lower density, you limit the size of the buildings that develop in your city. Zoning high density allows for skyscrapers, but it is very expensive. Higher density buildings don't develop until you reach the population thresholds listed in the notes for this video. Hint: Don't zone high density residential or commercial early in the game. It is costly, and you won't get the high density development until your population exceeds 26,000. In other words, build out before you try to build up. Zoning density has no impact on the wealth of the residents or businesses that move into your city. In other words, if you build it, they will not necessarily come. Hey, you say this is easy. Hold on now, Mayor. You thought you were all powerful? Not exactly. What actually develops in your residential, commercial, and industrial zones is up to your sims. You are merely placing restrictions on the types of buildings, kinds of businesses, and zone densities. If you zone an area for high-density residential development, don't be surprised if the high-rises don't immediately appear. Zones don't develop to their peak capacity until you have created the conditions that spur demand for these zones. Use your RCI demand indicator and your desirability map to let you know if your zoning decisions are in line with the needs and desires of your sims. But wait, what if your population is booming and you've zoned for high-density areas but still no high-rises? I recommend you check out your water supply situation. Water is an unnecessary money drain as your city is newly developing, but once you hit the big time, your sims demand a supply of nice, clean H2O. When you're placing zones, you choose your desired zone designation. Click and hold the mouse button down as you drag the mouse across tiles until you cover the area you wish to zone. You can zone a single tile with one mouse or you can click and hold the mouse to fill areas between pre-existing roads with a zoned area. If there are no bounding roads, click and hold the mouse as you drag to create a zone of maximum size. Each lot created displays a little arrow indicating the front of the lot. Lots must face a street or road to be connected to your transportation network. You can affect the orientation of the lots when you zone by pressing the Alt key while you zone. Streets are automatically built within zones to make sure your sims have access in and out of neighborhoods to major routes. If pre-built streets interfere with your sense of control, you can send the auto street function packing by holding the shift key down while zoning and build your own streets. Have you zoned an area that you were saving for a landfill? Just press escape before you let up on the mouse button. This cancels your zoning operation. Hint: Try to zone in highly desirable locations. Use the desirability data view to determine what location is desirable to what group of sims. Since this data is broken up by occupant type, and we'll get into this more later, you can pick the ideal location for each group you wish to take up residence in your city. A final note, never confuse zone type with occupant type. Low density residential, which is a zone type, is not the same thing as low wealth residential, which is an occupant type. Density specifies building capacity limits, the difference between single-family dwellings and huge apartment buildings. Wealth stand specifies the standard of living for the residents. Low zoning density can allow for low, medium, and high wealth residential development. So, here's a rundown of the types. This is residential. Your low density residential will see mostly single-family homes being built. Medium density residential allows for smaller apartment buildings and condominiums. High density residential, these are huge tenements to massive luxury high rises. I recommend you zone for low density development when your city is early in the stages of growth. It's much easier on your pocketbook and you won't see taller, bigger buildings until your city increases in size and population anyway. Commercial zoning density choices are low density Red commercial, which is for the mom and pop stores, gas stations, and other businesses. Medium density commercial includes medium sized office buildings and stores. 
and high density commercial is for large office buildings, mega stores, and skyscrapers. When it comes to commercial zones, I have one word for you rezone. Commercial kingpins showing an interest in the commercial district where Joe's Gas and Shave is the biggest concern going. You can rezone higher density zones of the same type over existing areas without destroying what's already there. When conditions are right, higher density buildings will develop alongside and over current structures. Here are your industrial zones. Agricultural are for farms and only farms. No planned communities, no encroaching subdivisions, just tractors, barns, and crops. Moo. Medium density industrial includes medium sized factories, warehouses, manufacturing plants, and some high tech industry. High density industry is for your mega industries, your large factories, your incinerators, or if you've planned well, gleaming high tech industrial complexes. I recommend you zone your industrial areas near the edges of your city map or make a road or rail neighbor connection to reduce the length of freight trips. Industrial barons need to get their products around town and export it outside your city boundaries or your companies won't grow. Access to efficient transportation makes a zone more desirable for your ambitious souls. In each of these zone types, you've seen the D-Zone tool. This is available for all zoning types after your density choices. If you've zoned and developed a certain area but rethought your strategy, use this tool to remove the zoned area as well as the streets created when the original zoning went in.